What is up guys, this is Kevin from Fashion Forward Always. I'm here with a cop drop. This episode's cop drop is about, y'all already know, everyone's favorite techwear brand, Gorilla Group. So, I purchased Gorilla Group's PL01 for their Spring Summer 17 collection. Uh, I purchased them about a month ago and I've been testing it out and I think I'm finally ready to give my full opinions about it. So let's talk about the pros of the PL1. I personally love the look of the bottom. I think it has such a cool design and all the pockets, etc. give it a very like cool and edgy look to it. The tapered look of the bottom also helps give it like a mil spec look where like the upper bottom has a bit more space while the lower bottom is a bit more tapered down. The materials are extremely sturdy. That's what I've noticed. I took this on a trip to Seattle. I also took my infant live. Infinitive. I also took my other bottoms to uh, Seattle and this fared up pretty well. I feel like these bottoms are a lot more suited towards, you know, colder weather rather than California because I did like wearing these bottoms more in Seattle than my other thinner techwear bottoms. Yeah, like Gorilla Group made to point out that this is using the Ecoya. It is resistant to fading, I believe. It is water resistant. It has ripstop technology all the way lined on the inside. It is water repellent. I think I already said that. And it just has a bunch of different features. I'll list them somewhere over here. They included like a tag about it. It's like this long tag with all the specifications. Same with on their website. I really do like all of the little details such as the tassels for each of the Vizlon zippers. And I do like the fit of this. I just think the quality of this is pretty good and it should be good for the price point of 340. So the cons of this. A part of me loves the fit of this, but another part of me doesn't. Mainly because this fits a bit weird towards the waist. Since it is slightly drop crotched, um, I can't wear it like how I normally wear my bottoms. I wear them pretty low, but I would actually have to wear them a little bit higher because they have a double button system like a lot of pants. So they have an inner button and then they have an outer button. A lot of the times I'm about 158 and I am about five foot nine, five foot 10, and these fit a little bit weird around my waist because they're a bit constricting a little bit hard. So sometimes what I do is that I only button the most outer layer just to give myself a little bit of breathing room. Um, I'm not even sure if it makes that big of a difference, but it makes it a little bit more comfortable. And how I found to wear this a bit more comfortably is that I would have to wear it sort of high on the waist so that it would fit sort of nicely towards, I guess, my upper waist rather than my lower. I would like to see an iteration of this with sort of like an elastic waist. I think that'd be really cool, maybe drawstrings. I know that they did something like that for fall, winter 16, but I can't remember, honestly. One of the biggest points that I personally didn't really like is the price point of the bottoms. The bottoms are $340 retail plus shipping, and that ends up being like $350, $360. That is a lot of money to be spending on a smaller brand such as Gorilla Group. $350, that'll get you, you know, a pretty good pair of maybe designer bottoms or something like that from an established brand rather than, you know, a a younger brand and a more niche brand. $340 is a good amount of money. You know, a part of me loves it and a part of me thinks that the money went towards the materials, which I'm sure it did. But another part of me thinks that a good amount of the money went towards brand recognition and stuff like that because almost everybody in the tech work community already knows what Gorilla Group, you know, cargos already look like. And they're just such a staple with a lot of people wearing them that a lot of people are drawn into them. That's why I wanted to sort of do a review to see if it's worth the $340 price tag, which is by far one of the most expensive pair of pants that I've ever bought. The bottoms do look nice and the material does feel quality, but 340, 360 bucks, I just the frugal little Asian man inside of me is like, I feel like a good amount of the money went towards, you know, profit or advertising or whatever, etc. And like another little small personal issue that I sort of encountered is that when I got back to California, I saw myself wearing this a lot less, mainly because one, the material is a bit thicker. 
So in California right now, I believe it is 103 degrees Fahrenheit, which I don't think I could get away with wearing these and look sane. I usually wear shorts or I usually wear like a light pair of bottoms. It's just, this isn't right for my current, I guess, my current location and temperature. I'm sure fall, winter, that'll change and these will be my go-to pair of pants. But right now, they are not like extremely amazing at like breathability. I thought I'd just let you guys know. So now that you heard my pros and cons, let's get into the on body and the fits. Okay, and here is the conclusion. Do I think you guys should purchase Gorilla Group's bottoms? I think you should try to look on Grail for under retail because $340 is a good amount of money to drop on a pair of bottoms. Um, there are some other cheaper bottoms, cheaper alternatives that'll give you the same sort of effect. You could try out the Nike ACG line. I've had a pair of their bottoms and they're pretty damn good for the price. I just wouldn't recommend these being like the hallmark type above bottoms that you should go towards first. I think you should work your way up to maybe considering purchasing Gorilla Group bottoms because it is damn pricey and you got to be committed to this look in order for it to be worth the 340, 350 price tag. Another company that I do think you should take a look at is Enfin Live or Enfin Leve. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but it is a small brand. I'll do a video on it soon. I already wrote up the review. I already wrote up the review for the brand and for a pair of pants that I ordered. So keep a lookout for that. Subscribe. Press the like button, you know, you want to, baby. But yeah, my final thoughts, I do not think you should be in a rush to purchase these. I think you should wait, maybe try to snipe them for under retail or wait on them. Like, wait on them until you feel comfortable enough to spend that much money on a pair of bottoms. So thank you guys so much for watching. That has been another cop drop. I am continually working towards more content. Shit takes a while, but yeah, thank you guys for sticking with me. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace. Yeah,